A major development in the war in Ukraine. Russian troops have been forced out of an important city that they'd held for months. And it happened just after Vladimir Putin claimed that region for Russia. ABC's Tom Sufi Burge is on the ground in Ukraine with Russia's latest battlefield loss. Tonight, Ukraine threatening to break Russia's stranglehold over the eastern Donbass. Russian forces retreating from a key city there they claim to have just annexed. Ukrainian troops here raising their flag once again in Liman, tearing down the Russian colors, celebrating there this weekend. Liman, a vital transport hub for military supply lines, only captured by the Russians four months ago. A mark of how this war has now shifted in Ukraine's favor. He announced the annexation and he's already lost a really critical element in that, a critical city that would have been a very key supply hub had they been able to go farther. And that's just going to continue. He's going to continue to lose on the battlefield. Ukraine building on the huge gains it made in a lightning offensive last month. Morale now high for troops like Sasha. When we met him and his family three months ago, his infantry unit had just retreated. Today, Sasha waiting for the call to redeploy, knowing the Russian enemy is now on their back foot. They have professionals, but the people is not motivated. They don't know what they're fighting for. So, and this is what makes them weak. And you guys know what you're fighting for, right? Of course. We know it like 100%. Fighting to stop Russia from killing civilians. Russian missiles hitting a convoy of civilians in Zaporizhia in the south on Friday. And just this weekend, Ukrainian officials discovering another civilian convoy destroyed in the northeast. Here, 24 people killed, including 13 children and a pregnant woman. Their body bags lining the road. Tom, just awful scenes there. Putin and his allies continue to make nuclear threats as Ukraine captures more territory. It actually seems that Putin's rhetoric and threats are increasingly becoming more menacing. Exactly, Lindsay. Ukraine, armed and financed by the U.S., is now clearly winning this war. But the more Ukraine wins, the louder Putin's nuclear threats become. At the same time, Ukraine is determined to press on and recapture its own sovereign territory. Tonight, the Pope wading in, calling the atomic threat absurd, even pleading with Putin to stop this spiral of violence and death. Lindsay? Even the Pope weighing in. Tom, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.